Latvian challenge for words a day, day three. Hey there, happy Saturday. This is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to the third day of my Latvian challenge, four Latvian words a day. Yesterday, our phrase was man ir divas rokas. That phrase consisted of six syllables. Today, we will learn about another part of your body because our today's phrase will be es protu stāvētus galvas. How do you like that? I'll pronounce the phrase again and you listen to the rhythm because now you know what to listen for. Listen for stressed and unstressed syllables. All right, here comes the phrase. Es protu stāvētus galvas. I'll pronounce it again and try to count syllables. Es protu stāvētus galvas. I know, this is more difficult than the phrase on day one and than the phrase on the day two. So I'll start by teaching you the rhythm again. The rhythm of this phrase is no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. Wow, complicated. I'll do it again. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. Let's start from the end, just like we are learning the words. The last two syllables are yes, no, and that is one foot, the last foot. The foot before that is yes, no, no. So the last two feet together are yes, no, no, yes, no. Can you repeat this after me? I'll do it and then you repeat it, all right? Okay, here comes. Yes, no, no, yes, no. You? All right, good. So one more time all together. Yes, no, no, yes, no. And there is one more foot ahead of these two and that foot is no, yes, no. So the first syllable is unstressed, then the stressed syllable comes and then the unstressed follows. So it's no, yes, no. Can we do this together? No, yes, no. One more time. No, yes, no. And now just you. All right, I'll repeat the last two feet again. No, yes, no, no, yes, no. And I'll repeat it again. No, yes, no, no, yes, no. And now the rhythm of the entire sentence, and that is no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. I'll repeat it again. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. Can you do it? Let's do it three times so that it really sits in your head. All right, let's start. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. All right, we did it. And now let's start learning the words. And as usual, you already know, we will start with the last word. And the last word is Galvas. I'll repeat it again. Galvas. And one more time. Galvas. And I think you can do it now without me. Try it. You forgot it? Okay, I'll have it written for you. Okay, I'll read it now and then you repeat. Is that fair? Okay, let's do it. Galvas. The word that stands before the word galvas is a single syllable word and that belongs to the previous foot and that word is uz. A simple word, uz, uz, uz. And now I'll pronounce the last two words together. Uz galvas, uz galvas, uz galvas. Let's do it together. Uz galvas, uz galvas, uz galvas. Do you know what it means? It means on head. Does it sound a little weird? Probably for you as an English speaker, because you want to put something in front of the word head. For instance, you want to say 
on my head or you want to say on the head. That's not how it works in Latvian. In Latvian you can simply have a noun head without any article or pronoun in front of it. So usgalvas means on head, but in your thoughts you can think on my head. Alright, the word combination again usgalvas and one more time usgalvas and now you say it. Great. The word that stands in front of the word uz is stavet. 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 And in this word you have to pull those vowels longer. Do you know what a vowel is? The two vowels in this word are a and e. Let's pronounce only these vowels. A, e, a, e. Now together with me, you too. A, e, a, e. And once more. A, e. And now the vowels in that word. Stavet. Stavet. Can you do it without me? I'll pronounce it one more time and then you pronounce it without me. Stavet. Excellent. So the last three words together are Stavet uz galvas. Listen to the rhythm. Stavet uz galvas. Stavet uz galvas. Yes, no, no, yes, no. Stavet uz galvas. Let's do it together. Stavet uz galvas. One more time. Stavet uz galvas. Can you do it without me? I'll pronounce it one more time and then you pronounce it without me. All right? Stavet uz galvas. Fantastic. So we have three words already, but there are two more. You know why? Because you already know the first word, which is S. So the second word is Pruatu. Pruatu. Here in this word we hear the same sound again that we learned yesterday. Ua. Ua. And in the word it is Pruatu. Pruatu. Oh yes, there is the Latvian R again. Rrr. Pruatu. Pruatu. Can you do it without me? I'll do it one more time and you repeat after me. Pruatu. And now I will pronounce the first and the second word together. Remember, the first word was S. S. Pruatu. Es pruotu. And the rhythm is no, yes, no. No, yes, no. Es pruotu. Es pruotu. Do you remember the rhythm of the whole sentence? It was no, yes, no. Yes, no, no. Yes, no. So the first two feet are no, yes, no. Yes, no, no. I will put the words into these two rhythmic feet. Es pruotu stāvēt uz. Es pruotu stāvēt uz. Es pruotu stāvēt uz. And the rhythm of the whole sentence again. No, yes, no. Yes, no, no. Yes, no. So the last word was Galvas, galvas, and the last two feet, stāvēt uz galvas, stāvēt uz galvas, stāvēt uz galvas. I know, this might be a little challenging for you if you are a beginner, but trust me, if you learn four words a day, you will get used to it. So, again, the long vowels a, e in the word stāvēt. Stāvēt. The long vowels a, e. And in the word that follows, there is a short vowel. And that vowel is u. The word was uz. 
stāvēt uz. Try to pronounce it accurately. The two first vowels long and the third vowel short. Stāvēt uz. I'll pronounce just the vowels. A, E, U. A, E, U. A, E, U. Can you do that? Let's do it together. Two times. A, E, U. A, E, U. And now with the words. Stāvēt uz. Stāvēt uz. Stāvēt uz. And once more, the last two feet. Stāvēt uz galvas. The last word was galvas. Stāvēt uz galvas. Try to do it together with me because I'm going to ask you to do it without me too. All right. Stāvēt uz galvas. And now your turn without me. And the two first words is protu. I'll repeat it one more time and then I'll ask you to repeat without me. Es protu. You? Es protu. Good. And now the whole phrase I will pronounce it a little slower. Es protu stāvēt uz Galvas. Can you do it in this pace together with me? Let's do it two times and then you will have a chance to do it without me. Ready, set, go. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. And maintain the rhythm. Let's do it again in this slow pace. Es protu Stāvēt uz galvas. It's your turn. You see the text written? Try doing it without me. And now I'll pronounce it faster. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. This is a normal pace in which a Latvian would speak. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. Can you try doing this with me? Let's do it three times. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. And of course you want to know the meaning of this. Uz galvas, as I told you, means on head. Stāvēt means to stand. And es protu means I can. So the meaning of the entire sentence is I can stand on my head or I can stand on head. So let's summarize what you already know in Latvian. You know two body parts. You know how to say arms which is rokas and you know how to say on head which is uz galvas. You also know how to say I am which is es asmu, and you know how to say I have, which is man ir, and now you learned how to say I can, which is es protu. But there's one more thing that I need to do, because this is a challenge. Let's see if I can prove to you that I am able to do what I said I am. Yes, I did it. And like always, you will have the default forms of these words that I taught to you after this video. Stick with me. You'll have so much more fun. And here are the default forms for today's words. Yes, there are only two because the word S was already in its default form. So the next word was protu and its default form is Prast. The next word was stāvēt and it was in its default form already. And then 
the word os followed, which is a preposition, and it always has the same form. And finally, the word galvas, and its default form is galva.